Welcome to another installation video from LaserZet Studio. Today we're going to be installing the back plate on a Glock 42 pistol. What we're also going to be using, kind of tools that would be helpful, is we're going to be using an eighth inch punch or you could use uh, one of our Glock Armors tools. And we're also going to be using a 3 30 seconds punch just to hold the kind of the cup down into place. You could either use that or just the back of the other punch will work too. So after you disassembled, you don't have to disassemble the Glock 42. I just find it a lot easier if you disassemble the Glock 42. You're going to see the firing pin striker and you're going to see the little plastic cup. You're going to insert the 1 8 inch punch up underneath the firing pin striker and right above the plastic cup and you're going to push down on the cup with one hand and you're just going to slide the plate off with the other hand and then just release the tension in the cup still holding your thumb over the opening so the cup firing pin thing nothing pops out with the original Glock OEM back plate, these are made out of plastic with metal steel on the side. What we're going to be replacing this with is a Laser's Head Studio back plate, custom engraved. These are type 3 anodized, made out of aluminum. We're going to start. Now this is going to take a little bit of coordination, but you just slide the Glock 42 plate into position where you pulled the other one off with the back of your punch or another larger punch. You're going to need to push down the plastic cup and start to slide it into place. After you start it, you're going to notice the little spring plastic cap right here. You're going to also need to push that down with the 1 8 inch punch and then slide it in the rest of the way. When you slide it in correctly, you're going to hear it clip, clip into place. I'm installing the Actinon Verba, which is Latin for action, not words. And we have just installed a Glock backplate for the Glock 42. Now there is a difference between the backplates for the regular Glocks, the Glock 42, and the Glock 43, those are three different separate backplates for the Glocks. And pretty much that's all there is. But one other thing I'd like to show you is we also carry the magazine plates for the Glock 42. These have a slight finger groove on there, still small enough to make it perfect for the concealed carry. Yep, perfect on the fit and finish. An installation video on the Glock magazines and different tricks and tips and tricks on how to get these installed is on another video we have. That should do it. Thank you.